Meanwhile, in Ames, the start of a new era for Cyclone football. New faces for the Cyclones stepping up in big roles. That guy, though, Xavier Hutchinson, not new. He returned. He put on a show in his first game back this year. A beautiful day in Ames. White helmets, red jerseys. Love that combination. And the Hunter Deckers era starts off like this. Dumping it off to Xavier Hutchinson, who on Tuesday, Decker said this is his favorite receiver. And you see why. 33-yard catch and run. 7-0 Cyclones after that one. Fast forward now 14-0 Iowa State. Here comes the third touchdown pass from Deckers to Xavier Hutchinson. Beautifully placed. Deckers goes up, or excuse me, Hutchinson goes up and gets it. Deckers puts it right where it needs to be. 21-0. Red Hawks would score. Paxson DeLaurent to Demore Vic, 21-7. And then Southeast Missouri State makes it interesting as we close out the first half. Deckers, a throw to the left, not great, picked off. And they're going to get this into the red zone. 21-10 after a field goal heading into the break. Let's head now to the second half. Deckers continued to look good. We finally see some action from the running backs. But before we get to that, Deshaun Nika, he's going to find the big box. Deckers looking and dumps it off to him. He'll do the rest. Stiff arm and uses that speed to get to the corner. 28-10. We hear a lot about how good Hunter Deckers is on his feet, right? Elusive, athletic. And you're going to see it right here. Really good pressure from Southeast Missouri State coming in on the left side and he spins out of it. Notice, notice those instincts. Really impressive and a dart to Dimitri Stanley. Really nice play. Jirel Brock, he had the task of replacing Brees Hall as the starter in this first game of the year. Obviously, Brees Hall is gone. And watch this touchdown run from Jirel Brock. You're going to see it right here. Not only breaks a couple of tackles and then the breaks. My ACLs just tore watching that. Really impressive. Final score, 42 to 10. Cyclones get the win. For more on those running backs, let's send it to our Shannon Earhart. We all knew that when Iowa State graduated Brees Hall that the running backs room would have to create a new identity. We saw that today when the Cyclones beat SEMO in a big 42 to 10 win, but we didn't see it until the second half. Hunter Deckers threw mostly through the air in the first half, hitting Xavier Hutchinson for all three TDs. I'll note that he is the first Cyclone with three touchdown receptions since Quentin Bundridge against Iowa in 2013. In the first half alone, Deckers threw for 238 yards, but the second half, Coach Campbell flipped the script. Deckers utilized the backfield and spread the wealth between four different backs who combined for 156 yards on 28 attempts. The majority of the real estate goes to Jirel Brock, who finished with a career high 104 rushing yards. The stakes to perform at that level for Brock and the other running backs may have been a little bit higher because of who was watching. When you have guys like David Montgomery and Brees Hall that are coming back, you want to put on a show as a running back room to show that um, it's still in a it's still in a really good spot, and I feel like we did that today. Um, you know, you have guys like uh, you know Brees is the closest to us because he's one that we've all played with, and he was on the sideline giving us you know giving us all the information that we, he could he could. That's the one thing about all of our that whole group is man. I, th I think you saw an extra gear from Jirel. Um, I think you know. He, whether it showed up or not, Eli Sanders has got a couple gears. And, you know, I, I think Dion, you saw flashes of that too. So, uh, Cartavia certainly has got those things. And, you know, it'll be really good to kind of, again, continue to grow forward with that running back room. But, boy, I was really proud of what those guys did as well today. This Iowa State team pulled off a win with very few problems, but they stare straight ahead at their most vicious contest of the season, the University of Iowa. With Cyhawk right on the horizon, there will be plenty to unpack this upcoming week. Reporting from Jack Trice Stadium, Shannon Earhart, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.